and welcome back to my channel my name is Doku from 22512 you can call me Doku and welcome back to Apex Legends the awakening collection event as you can see I have fully completed uh, the free tracker challenge and I still have three more badges to unlock before the awakening event is over and the awakening event disappears uh, or oh, in about uh, let's see in three days which means control will only be available for three days more after that control is no longer available and there are something I would like to talk about especially the update that uh, came during uh, the awakening event so first of all let's talk about Valkyrie's heirloom and to be honest, this is one of the most magnificent heirlooms that I've seen. I'm not a Valkyrie main, but I do play Valkyrie from time to time. And I have to say, to be able to have this heirloom is an honor. It is one of the best heirlooms I've seen so far. The animation for the heirloom is awesome as well. It fits Valkyrie perfectly. and the intro is phenomenal it is phenomenal i love it so let's talk about the collection event and i'm gonna be giving my honest opinion to respawn about the collection event and i hope that uh, my opinion and many others they do take to consideration they do uh, uh, take this for the next design, you know, to improve, if I've said myself. So first of all, we got a banner frame for Fuse. Uh, I really like the banner frame for Fuse. It looks like a multiple rocket shooting right out of Fuse. It's awesome, I love it, it's epic. Uh, this one is for Seer. I like it. I don't know exactly what this is, but if I have to guess, it has to be a ring, magical ring coming out fuse. So, um, there's only one problem I have with this collection event, and it's not anything that is there to get. It is the price of these. Uh, legendary skin like for example um, I want to get the Lobo skin but it is 2400 craft materials where I only have 1835 in the previous collection event it was the legendary and epic was like normally you can get what you want um, with crafting materials like for example if I go here and I say maybe I want a green metallic skin for a few it is a thousand two hundred crafting materials or maybe perhaps I want give me some banner pose for Newcastle it is four hundred crafting materials where in the collection event if you want a legendary it's gonna cost you 2400 crafting material or 1800 apex points and i have to say if there is one skin out of the entire collection event i want i'm gonna be honest with you this is the only thing in the collection event that i want the chief medic partner I mean, look at this lifeline skin. I would do literally anything to get this lifeline skin. It is phenomenal. And the dark trail is phenomenal. Respawn knocked this one out of the park. My only question is, where the Octane skin that they said were possibly going to come? That looked exactly like, uh, well, the one from the trailer. So, if I have to say this, uh, with honesty, I really want this Mischief Medic Bundle. 
this one is also good but uh, I'm not always a fan of hollow price and this has to be one of the best hollow price but again it's 3500 apex coins and I do also like to vote skin this vote if my apology wait 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 wait, wait. This is one of the best wall skins I've seen so far. It fits the bundle perfectly. It fits Lifeline outfit perfectly. It is phenomenal. It is. I'm just curious about how the iron sight is going to look. I can't wait to see how it's going to look. I hope it is perfect. I hope it is um, in a way that you would want to play with iron sight more than with scopes. You know what I'm talking about. So I think the only problem I have with uh, the collection event is the price of it. Other than that, I love everything about it. I love the Lobo skin. I love uh, Mad Maggie skin. This is actually one of the best Mad Maggie skins I've seen so far. It looks like she's wearing the armor, uh, the skin of a dragon and made it into an armor. I mean, these here, uh, ice sticking out of the armor that is phenomenal and the uh, big ball thing um, that he has here on the side it looks phenomenal I just wish and uh, I think this is what many people would want is for the ultimate to look exactly like it looks there when you throw it out the same with few there was a skin that people said um, like for example with this thing on its back when you pull it out it's supposed to look like that but it doesn't so i think respawn can maybe improve on this if they make a legendary skin like this and the ultimate look exactly like this on the skin when you pull it out it has to look precisely like that i think that's what many people would love to see in the future uh let's see uh, um my favorite legendary weapon skin has to be the aimlock and the longbow i love the design of both weapons and i think this would really do a great addition to apex legend they are really improving upon their skins and i'm very happy proud and honored to see the improvement of the skin i mean epic skins are definitely supposed to look like this it is phenomenal look at this this really makes me want to get a got this gothic epic skin but the reason why i'm not gonna get it is because i already have a better skin for gothic and this is the skin from the unshackled event that I uh, got for gothic this is one of the best legendary gothic skins for me I love everything about it um, the only thing that I do wish uh, came with this legendary skin was a cat trap that would look exactly like the skin you know even uh, the ultimate I wish looked exactly like the skin you know what I mean um there was something else i wanted to talk about uh believe it or not for some reason the apex legend coins are unavailable i don't know if this happened to other people but uh respawn if you are seeing this video uh, please take a look into this because for some reason apex legend coins are unavailable i don't know if it's a glitch a bug i don't know um, but I do have the patience to wait and see if you are able to fix this. I would highly appreciate it and I, th I think if it's possible that this has happened to everyone else. Um, just comment down below if you are a thing.
Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize about that. Uh, I had to disappear for a few minutes. Um, as I said, uh, if anyone's experiencing the same problem as I do, just comment down below and hopefully respond. If you do see this video, please fix this uh, or I'll appreciate it. So, uh, let's dive into some action for the awakening event. So, um, my daily challenge is to play with Sia. So, let's go. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna go, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go duos because I've actually noticed that uh, I do way better in duos than I do in trios because, yeah, I don't know what it is but for some reason it is, I'm better in duos than in trios. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not as good as many other people are. Uh, as Ragtag himself would say, he is not the best, but in my eyes, I believe Ragtag is the best at what he does. And that is pulling through no matter the odds. So I take my experience from him, and I've learned a lot from Ragtag. I'm not someone who's toxic at all. Um, and if I do encounter toxic people from time to time, I just ignore it. I show them kindness. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about is I've seen, I have to thank everyone. Yeah, on my channel. I thank you all for being here, for getting me to the point where I am. My channel was created uh, for uh, for fun. I do the things I do for fun. I'm not looking to be one of the popular YouTubers. I just want my channel to grow, to share the things I like and the content that I like such as Epic Legend, My Little Pony, Star Wars and Fox Evil with everyone in the community. That is what my channel is here for, this is what I do. I'm not good with the... Oh, Rampage, 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 I'm gonna die. I'll come and help you now. I just wanna recharge my shield. But I'm gonna die to a rampage, to be honest. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're gonna die. I'm gonna be honest, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. I'm gonna be honest with you. We're gonna die. I'm really not the best when it comes to uh, the repeater. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the best when it comes to the repeater. Uh, that could have gone better actually than I thought, but I'm not good with the repeater, I'm honest. I need more practice with the repeater than any other weapon. Um, I thought I took duos, but it apparently threw me into trio, which is kind of weird, to be honest. So, um, I am truly honored, proud to have everyone on my channel for helping me grow my channel. And it makes me proud to see that what I'm doing, people like. It's what I love to do. I love to play Epic Legend and see the gameplays I have in Epic Legend. Whenever, whether it is that I win or lose, I enjoy playing Epic Legend. The same goes with my other content, with Star Wars and Force of Evil content. I've seen many people highly requested. Star Wars of Force of Evil content 
and I will be making more but I'll also be making My Little Pony content because I'm a big fan of My Little Pony I truly am um, The reason I'm a big fan of My Little Pony is it is a show that is unlike no other it has the friendship lesson that I learned from and it is those friendship lessons that have made me uh, to be the kind and generous person that I am today if it wasn't for those friendship lessons I would probably be one of those toxic people that uh, it just been toxic all the time but uh, thanks to my little pony it has me seen how friendship can be in life friendship is a powerful friendship definitely is a powerful um, thing in the world it is And I don't have energy ammo for you to be honest. Um, yeah, I love my little pony for all the reasons, the friendship, the lessons they have in the show is phenomenal. Lauren Faust definitely, definitely definitely made a show worthy not only is the show for children it's for everyone and that's what i love about the show it's not just for children for it's for everyone i feel bad for that blood on because I got chopped from behind, that's just terrible. I don't know why people like to tag team others. It just gives them a advantage that no one has. And I think it's good to have that type of advantage because it helps you win the game. That was um an interesting game uh, I think I just want to see what my weekly challenges is uh, let me see a quickly play 12 matches with Pathfinder Seal or Gothic okay so I'm gonna go you know what I'm gonna keep it here for now because I like his passive way you can see where people are without having them know you're coming for them I really think uh, Respawn uh, need to make control mode a permanent uh, game mode to play because it will help a new players come into Apex Legend uh, get a better a feel of how the game is to get better with the weapon to know which one they like and which one they need to get better with um, I've watched a video I think yesterday where someone said I think it was the gaming merchant that said the reason Respawn won't make control into a permanent game mode is because they want people to get tired of the game mode and then when it's not there uh, people would ask to have a game mode return but I say make it a permanent game mode for those who want to play it and if they do get tired of it they can just go to Battle Royale, Arenas, you name it and if they want to continue playing control mode, it is there for them to play. You know what I mean? Instead of just keep bringing it back in different kind of events. 
May control mode a permanent game mode and bring new event game mode to try out. I don't know what other game mode uh, we want to plan, but May control mode a per permanent game mode to play and introduce new game mode to the game. So let's give this another go, shall we? I think this will be a phenomenal game, I hope. I'm gonna try my best to last this game. Uh, it seems that we have only maybe one or two people dropping here with us. So this is my chance to take the flat line. To be honest, any heavy weapon I would rather play with is um, the flat line and uh, the split fire, yes. I can't actually say that I'm surprised for the rampage to be back on the ground. I feel like the rampage is still a bit too strong. Um, I don't know why he won't put my favorite weapon in the crafter which is the car SMG. I eliminated many people with the car SMG. I have a better time with the car SMG than any other weapon in the game to be honest. My most favorite uh, SMG is probably the Volt because I've been playing with the Volt since it was out. The Volt was always my go-to weapon in Apex Legends. So, I'm disappointed that the Volt is in the gear package, but to be honest, I think it's probably best for the Volt to be in the gear package. I don't know how many people would agree with me because I'm one of those people that want the Volt to come back to ground because then I can start eliminating people again with the vote. And that's just my point of view. There are people that gonna say uh, they're happy that the vote is in the gear package and that is not on the ground. And there are people that gonna say, perhaps, perhaps to be honest, the Rampage should be in the gear package rather than being either in a crafter or on the ground. I really don't know what people would say. Would they agree with me? Disagree with me? I don't know. To be honest, I really hope people agree with me rather than disagreeing with me. But to be honest, everyone has their own opinion and those opinions that people have, I respect. I don't expect people to say, you know, you're right, um, the vault should be on the ground. But if you feel like it shouldn't be on the ground, it should be in a gear packet, I respect your opinion, I really do. Like I said, we all have different opinions and it what makes us different from each other. Let's see if I can get purple. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see, okay. Okay, uh, these are exactly what I need. So thank you, Loot Marvin. Okay, um, just need to pick up some more of the ammo. Mm, you know what, I think I maybe have enough for now. Okay, so Valkyrie wants to go... Yes, okay. Okay, yes. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, how far is Valkyrie actually? I really hope she doesn't rush without me because 
it would give us a disadvantage if she does. I want to go in game chat just to see what her reaction or his reaction is. But I'm not going to do it right now because she says there are people and I really want to start eliminating people, send them back to the lobby rather than have myself sent back to the lobby. I want to see if I can see where they are precisely. I don't see anyone, I don't hear our feet. It's possible, oh, okay, right there, I see them. Okay, I see now. They are definitely just somewhere. I don't see anyone, but if you say there is someone there, then I'm not going to argue. I'm just going to stick close to her, or him. And we're going to see if our little friend... Oh wait, I love that. I'm making a run for it. I can't exactly blame him for making another run. Wait, where is he? Is he dead? Wait, was it a, not a Valkyrie? I'm not even sure if it was not a Valkyrie. If it was, then it probably was a solo. Okay, so apparently it may have been a Valk, not a Valk, because that player is gone, disappeared into thin air. I don't even have a Mojang Beak or an R45. There's a Peacekeeper. But uh, to be honest, I don't want to make peace right now. I want to eliminate people. I've noticed why they called it the Peacekeeper. Um, I don't yes. think I remember that the Peacekeeper was in Titan Force 2. I don't think I remember. I remember the Alpha 1 being in Titanfall and the Flatline, the Majin Beak, the Mastiff, um, the Spitfire, the Volt was in Titanfall 2 and the Volt remains my favorite weapon at all times. Whether it is in the Titanfall universe or it's an Apex Legend. I like to vote this MG more than any other weapon. Uh, I don't think I remember the Sentinel being Titanfall 2. So I believe Sentinel is one of the newest sniper rifles I introduced to Gator Clayton. Oh, I don't need to escape, but thank you. Spawn 1... What? Okay. Did I throw my ultimate out too quickly? Maybe I did. 
that's gonna cost me actually. This is really gonna cost me. Oh crap. From my autumn doctor early is gonna cost me because now I gained a uh, escape. Uh, it put me and my teammate in a disadvantage that was my fault actually. Let's speed up my ultimate quickly. There we go, there we go, that's looking better. So now I will have my ultimate back probably before another fight. So I can use my ultimate when needed. And my ultimate back. Yours if you like. The rampage! Which I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna use the rampage right now. That's another Valk. I wonder if it's the same Valkyrie that uh, managed to escape us before. If it is, I'm looking to send that Valkyrie straight to the lobby. Okay, so there is definitely a fight. Okay, that's quick. Oh! Yeah, I know I'm not hearing any of my shots, I'm aware of that. I knocked one. Come on, Ralph, you can do it. Uh, she tried, she tried, she tried. I can't believe I managed to get a knock. I think we both actually knocked each other. That was, um, well, how can I say, close to getting a win. We made it to the top three, so I'm proud of that.
However, I'm not so proud at um, losing that fight, <laughs> but I tried my best. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately I have to end my video here because um, in about an hour the power is going to go off on me. Um, if you're wondering what I mean my power is going to go off on me, I mean no cheering. So I really hope you enjoy this short video of me playing some Apex Legends and I will be doing more videos soon when I have time when low cheering is not an issue for me but ladies and gentlemen I really do hope you enjoyed this video be safe take care of yourself and have a nice evening or afternoon or day wherever you are and whoever you are I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will be making more content for my little pony and Tarvis of course people and uh, I think I will actually be able to do the, upload a video um, just maybe after 4 so expect a new video tonight maybe but uh, yeah until then Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you are enjoying your day, your weekend. And until next time, my name is Dr. Fontu25.